Terpenes, also known as isoprenoids, are a variety of naturally occurring organic compounds. These compounds are present in nature within trees, flowers, fruits, and even some animals. They are classified as mono, di, tri, tetra, and sesquiterpenes. To put it simply, they define the fragrance, taste, and pigment of plants, and are part of the reason why some plants attract insects, whereas others repel them. Terpenes have been studied to contain many medicinal properties, such as antimicrobial, antiplasmoidal, anti-cancer, and more. They can be beneficial for treating malaria, bacterial infections, and to even aid in cancer treatments. So, now that you have a brief introduction as to what terpenes are, let's now go into how terpenes are professionally extracted. In this video, we're going to focus on how to professionally extract cannabis-derived terpenes. As with any extraction, it all starts with the biomass. The biomass should be harvested at peak optimal terpene profile quality. A good rule of thumb when it comes to extraction is to start with quality to end with quality. Terpenes are a very volatile compound, meaning that the temperature needed to evaporate them into a vapor is relatively low. Now we'll showcase three professional ways to extract terpenes. The first method is via subcritical extraction. Extracting the terpenes in a low subcritical method utilizes CO2 extraction equipment at room temperature or low temperature, and is usually set at a low pressure of approximately 1,500 to 2,000 psi. The CO2 extract is then cooled and condensed in columns, resulting in a product that is an almost soupy consistency. The terpene purity content is usually between 5 to 15 percent. The problem is that the product is less consistent and also contains THC, meaning that it's more difficult to use in formulations. These can be sold as is or further refined in distillation or chromatography for further isolation. The second method is via cold trap distillation. First, place your biomass into specialized vacuum ovens. Because the vacuum ovens use heat and low pressure, and the evaporation point is low enough, valuable terpenes will be removed from the biomass. Using internal vacuum pumps and specific temperature control, the terpenes are volatilized into vapor. Those vapors then leave the biomass, travel inside a short path distillation apparatus before recondensing into a liquid inside the cold trap. The liquid that is gathered, hydrosol and the isolated terpene oils, are then contained in a food safe container. These terpenes are pure, high quality, and free of any chlorophylls, waxes, or other unwanted plant materials that can result from the terpene collection during the extraction process. The third method is steam distillation. In this process, water at elevated temperature is used to volatilize the terpenes. The steam goes through the biomass. The terpenes are carried away with the steam into a condenser where they become liquid and separate from the water. This process is very old and well known, but is also less controlled and tends to degrade the terpenes much more than in vacuum distillation. In addition, the hot water often reacts with the terpenes to produce undesirable aromas and flavors. Now that you have isolated the terpenes, you can now sell them wholesale as they are or reintroduce them into your formulations, such as gummies, vapes, tinctures, and the like. By doing so, we'll revitalize some of the strange specific smells and tastes you know and love. For more information about terpenes, visit our website at extractlab.com.